Hey there, tech lovers. In this video, we're going to take you on a wild ride through the world of flying cars. That's right. We've finally entered the future and it's happening. Buckle up, because we're about to tell you all about the first flying car on the market that's available for sale. Are you ready for takeoff? Let's go. What are flying cars and since when are they working on it? Flying cars, the ultimate dream of any traffic-weary commuter, the idea of a vehicle that can take to the skies to avoid traffic congestion, has been around for a long time. In fact, the concept of a flying car dates back to the 1920s and 30s, when inventors and engineers first started experimenting with vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft. One of the earliest designs was the Curtis Autoplane, which was developed by aviation pioneer Glenn Curtis in 1917. The autoplane was essentially a car with a biplane wing and a 40 horsepower engine. Unfortunately, the vehicle never made it past the prototype stage due to safety concerns. In the 1930s, a number of inventors and engineers continued to work on VTOL aircraft designs, including the famous American inventor and engineer, Igor Sikorsky. Sikorsky designed and built several flying cars, including the VS-300, which was the first successful helicopter in the United States. In the decades that followed, the concept of a flying car remained a popular idea among inventors and futurists. In the 1950s and 60s, companies like Ford and General Motors even experimented with their own flying car prototypes. However, these early attempts at creating a flying car were hampered by technical limitations and safety concerns. It wasn't until the 21st century that advances in technology and materials made the idea of a flying car a realistic possibility. Today, a number of companies are working on developing flying cars that are safe, reliable, and affordable. How are they being produced? The production of flying cars is a complex process that requires cutting-edge technology and materials. Most flying cars are produced using a combination of traditional manufacturing methods and advanced techniques like 3D printing and composite materials. One of the biggest challenges in producing flying cars is making them lightweight yet strong enough to withstand the forces of flying. To achieve this, manufacturers use a combination of lightweight metals like aluminum and titanium as well as advanced composite materials like carbon fiber. These materials are often combined with other technologies like 3D printing, which allows for the creation of complex and lightweight parts that would be difficult or impossible to produce using traditional manufacturing methods. For example, 3D printing can be used to create intricate internal structures that add strength and reduce weight. Another key technology used in the production of flying cars is autonomous flight control systems. These systems allow the vehicle to take off and land safely and to navigate through the air without the need for a human pilot. They also provide a range of safety features like collision avoidance and emergency landing capabilities. Manufacturers also use advanced design software to optimize the aerodynamics of their flying car designs. This software can simulate how the vehicle will perform in different flight conditions and can help engineers make informed decisions about the shape and size of the wings, fuselage, and other components. Overall, the production of flying cars is a highly specialized process that requires expertise in a wide range of disciplines, including materials, science, aerospace engineering, and software development. However, as technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more advanced and innovative flying cars in the years to come. What companies and groups work on bringing flying cars in this world? There are numerous companies and organizations working on developing and bringing flying cars into the world, each with its own unique approach and technology one of the biggest players in the flying car space is Uber. In 2016, Uber announced its plans to develop a fleet of flying taxis for urban transportation and has since partnered with several aircraft manufacturers and suppliers to bring this vision to life. The company's flying taxi service, known as Uber Elevate, is expected to launch in 2023. Another major player in the flying car market is Airbus. The European aircraft manufacturer has been working on developing its own flying car concept, known as the Vahana, since 2016. The Vahana is a single-passenger electric vertical takeoff and landing VTOL aircraft that is designed for urban transportation. Boeing is also heavily invested in the development of flying cars, with its own autonomous passenger air vehicle, PAV, concept known as the Boeing Next. 
The next is designed to be a fully electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft that can fly passengers and cargo across short distances. Other companies working on developing flying cars include Terrafugia, a startup that was acquired by Chinese automaker Geely in 2017, and PAL-V, a Dutch company that has developed a three-wheeled flying car that can both drive and fly. In addition to these private companies, there are also several government agencies and academic institutions working on developing flying cars. For example, NASA is developing its own electric vertical takeoff and landing, EVITOL aircraft, known as the X-57 Maxwell, while the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, has developed a prototype flying car that can both drive and fly. Overall, the market for flying cars is highly competitive and rapidly evolving, with numerous companies and organizations working on bringing this futuristic mode of transportation to reality. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more players and innovations in this space. What are some models that are being tested right now? There are a number of exciting models of flying cars being tested right now, each with its own unique features and capabilities. One promising model is the Volocopter 2X, a two-passenger electric vertical takeoff and landing, Evitol aircraft, that resembles a large drone. The Volocopter 2X is designed to be simple and easy to fly, with a joystick control system and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. It can fly for up to 30 minutes on a single charge, making it ideal for short trips. Another model that is being tested is the SkyDrive SD-03, a single-passenger EVTOL aircraft developed by the Japanese company SkyDrive. The SD-03 is designed to be compact and easy to maneuver with eight rotors for stability and a top speed of 62 miles per hour. It can fly for up to 20 minutes on a single charge and is expected to be used for personal transportation and emergency response. A third model that is being tested is the Lilium Jet, a five-passenger IVTOL aircraft developed by the German company Lilium. The Lilium Jet is designed for longer trips with a range of up to 186 miles on a single charge. It features 36 electric motors and has a top speed of 186 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest Evitual aircraft currently in development. Another exciting model is the City Airbus, an Evitual aircraft developed by Airbus for urban transportation. The City Airbus can carry up to four passengers and has a range of up to 31 miles on a single charge, it features four rotors for stability and can take off and land vertically, making it ideal for use in urban environments. These are just a few examples of the many models of flying cars that are being tested and developed today. As technology continues to advance, we can expect to see even more innovative and advanced flying cars in the years to come, and the sky is truly the limit. What makes flying cars so special and wanted among the people? Flying cars offer a level of freedom and mobility that's just out of reach with regular cars. They can help alleviate traffic congestion, shorten travel times, and give a whole new meaning to the term road trip. How will the world be in the future with flying cars? A world with flying cars would be like living in a sci-fi movie. Think about it. No more traffic jams, no more taking the long way around, and no more trying to find a parking spot. It's like a dream come true. Are there now flying cars for sale or when will they be for sale? Drumroll please, there's a flying car that you can buy right now. It's called the PAL-V Liberty and it'll only set you back a cool $599,000. But hey, who needs a house when you can fly to work, right? And that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this flight through the world of flying cars. If you liked what you saw, hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. And if you have any flying car related puns, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the skies.